Good afternoon, everyone. This is Pastor Life, all the way from Providence, Rhode Island. As usual, I'm broadcasting um, for the ministries, for the people of God, for ev everyone in the world as a whole. But this message is, is actually for Dr. Paula White, my spiritual mother. I adore her, yes. And I see many times that when I go up on, on, on Twitter, and this woman has ministered to lives. God has called her to nation. She is, I don't care. Paula, this is for you, mama. I don't care what they say about you. So, I don't care what they say about you. Let me tell you something, mama. Continue to do what you're doing for Jesus because you are changing lives. Continue to do what you're doing for the kingdom because one life, you change one life and that's my life. The word of God, the anointing and the power of God to your life made me a complete different woman today. I can stand and proclaim and decree the word of God with confidence because I know where my help come from. Paula White King, I respect you. I respect the anointing in your life. I respect the power of God in your life. Nobody says we were perfect. Ain't none of us perfect in this world. God has called us, anointed us. That's what we know. I remember this one word at your conference. You said, you know what? I don't know how to do this and I don't know how to dot every I and every T. I don't even know how to use the Kleenex when they give it to me. That's right, baby. It's okay. But guess what? There's just one thing I know. There's one thing you said in your conference when you came to Boston. You said there's one thing. One thing I do know that the God that started a good work in me will make sure that it come to pass. Paula White, Kane, I respect you, woman of God, daughter of Zion. I respect you. No matter what they call you, guess what? All of us that are called by the blood in the name of Jesus, they will continue to talk about us. That's right. They will continue to say things about us. That's right. They will continue to cast to get us. That's right. But we know who we are in Christ. We know, oh, we know who we are. Therefore, we continue to do what we do for Jesus, for the gospel, for the kingdom. Them, for those that are sick, for those that need that need prayers, for those that need to be, to be hard to become like I was one day, almost wanting to commit suicide. And one word, it was only one word from you, Paula. It was one word that the Lord spoke through you that saved my life. So continue. Let them talk. Let them call you every name in the book and call you all kinds of stuff. It's okay, baby. It's okay. God is with you. And if God is for you, who can be against you? Huh? They, they, are, they are castigating you because of a press uh, because of President Trump. Well, guess what? Who will tell him who will pray for the sinner man if there's no preacher to preach the word? So guess what? You all that are calling yourself Christians, you are wrong. You are wrong and you need to repent. If she had not been the water of living water that God has placed in the life of the president of the United States. Guess what? We all would have still been on the same level. But something inside of him changed when Paula began to decree and declare the word of God over his life. And he didn't win the second time. It's okay. But guess what was splintered in him? The seed of the Holy Ghost. It was splintered in him. And that he won't deviate from. God bless you, Paula White. God bless you. I salute you, woman of God. I salute you, my spiritual mother. God bless you. Don't let go of the gospel. Let them talk. Let the haters hate while you look pretty all the time. That's right. Let them hate while you look supreme all the time. That's right. Let them hate while you preach the authentic word of the living God. God bless you. I love you so much. And I love all of you. But I love you, Dr. Paula. God bless you. Amen. For being bold in the Holy Ghost and strong. That's right. That's your calling. Stand on it.